Hey, what's up, guys? I have a quick uh, Screen Factory unboxing here for you. This is... I just noticed there's a, there's a crease right here. That's kind of fucking lame. Damn it. Anyway, um, I just got this in the mail from Amazon. Um, this is In the Mouth of Madness from John Carpenter. It is a collector's edition of the uh, Screen Factory edition, I guess, or whatever I'm trying to say. Um, I, uh, I was... This came out in July, I think. And I knew I wanted to get it. I just did not want to pay 28 bucks for it. I paid about $21, I think, for this. 22 bucks. It was on sale. And, um, I don't know. I, I, I probably could have waited a little bit longer, but I did want to get a slip cover. And, as I said, uh, I had made a video a couple weeks ago of, um, uh, what the hell? The house on Haunted Hill. And it didn't come with, the, the slip cover was not wrapped. And I noticed this one is, so I don't know if that was just a, a random thing. Like, I, I could have swore they were always wrapped. But last time it wasn't. But this one is, so that's okay. But I'm not happy that the slipcover appears to be damaged already, which is, you know. Shit happens, though, so I'm not going to get too worked up about it. I got a slipcover, at least. I know that the Shout Factory or Screen Factory always guarantees them for, like, three months. I don't know if that counts for... Oh, this is wrapped, too. That's weird. Double wrapped. Is that normal? I don't think it's usually wrapped twice. a different kind of case too. This is one of those thicker. I wonder if this is like a, using less plastic or something. I'm just noticing more and more of these types of cases. I don't know if you can tell the difference. It's a bit um, boxier. Do I have another one over here? Hold on. I have a case right here of First Reformed. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't really tell that much but from the video here, but you can tell it's a little bit more curved right there versus the usual um, size they have there. There's this little divot right here for the side, and this is just, it's just different, I guess. Not a big deal. But um, it feels, well, at least it's not um, the same eco-friendly. It's eco-friendly, but it's not the, whatever I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's just talk about the damn film. Um, it's a single disc Blu-ray, uh, no DVD, no second disc of um, features or anything. Um, I will switch the um, art around because it's got the original cover art that I like. Ah, excuse me. Sam Neill and John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness, collector's edition. Lived any, what is it? Lived any good books lately? Huh. This is the same on the back. Oh, actually, it's a different image. Cool. But uh, how about we take a look at this? Well, I'll get this. This is a little easier to read. There's a description. It is inspired by the tales of H.P. Lovecraft. The shocking story is in the words of its clan director. Horror beyond description. Here are all the features. There's a new 4K scan. New audio commentary with director John Carpenter. Ooh, really? Cool. And producer Sandy King Carpenter. A new horror's hollow grounds. That's typical, though. New interviews with actress Julie Carmen and special makeup effects artist Greg Nicotero. Audio commentary. So an old audio commentary. And their trailer and TV spots and stuff. So that's cool. I'm going to check this out. I haven't watched this since last year, I think. I watched this for the first time last year. And I really did enjoy it. It was very, um... Very, uh, I guess the word here, yeah, visceral. It's very visceral. Huh. Thinking person's horror... Uh, thinking person's horror picture, I guess. Yeah, so it's, it's just... It's a very cool film... How it kind of takes place sort of like in the book, book world or whatever. Uh, what's the name of the character? Um, what's his name? Sutter Kane? Is that it? Right? Yeah, Sutter Kane. I remember that. Best-selling author whose newest novel is literally driven the years insane. Very cool. Yeah, very cool uh, movie. Good, very good performance from uh, Sam Neill. This is from 1995. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's very cool, very, very um, eerie type of a film. It's not, it's not, is it gory, really? I don't think it's that gory. It's just a really cool idea for film. And I remember when I first watched it, I didn't, or I, I guess I shouldn't say that, I didn't I didn't realize this was one of um, John Carpenter's films um, that I associated with him anyway. So I'm glad to get it. I'm really just buying all the John Carpenter films that I can get my hands on. I just love him as a director, so. Yeah, this is, sorry, I'm, I'm also looking at this fucking case again, too. It's a little... 
It's not exactly flimsy. I don't know what it is. It does feel lighter. I don't buy um, regular Blu-rays as often anymore, so when I buy things like um, uh, Screen Factory and Shop Factory, that's when I actually get a chance to see them. I guess I bought this recently. Well, it's been a month or two since I bought this. When did this come out? Last month, I think. Um, September, I think. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I should just, just wrap it up here. I'm just rambling now. Take a Hold on. Let me take a look at this. You see that? I don't like that at all. I don't like that. Like I said, I shouldn't complain because at least I got a, a slip cover, but I don't like that crease there. Oh well, as they say. Anyway. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I've got more stuff to show you in a little bit here. Um, it's we're in the in the thick of it right now of um, steel books and Halloween stuff. I'm trying to watch as many films as I can. I'm gonna watch this at some point here. Hopefully, maybe I yeah I'll, I'll squeeze it in. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again later. Thanks for watching.